Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today, not only did we get two new episodes of Star Vs, we also got a promo for the finale, which airs next weekend. Now, if you want to discuss this promo with me or anyone else, then you can go ahead and join our Discord, links down in the description below, if you want to just chat with anyone else, theorize about it, because, I mean, that's what they're doing now, and I assume that that's what they'll be doing for a little bit. So, yeah, go ahead and check out that link if you want to talk with people about the episodes. But, yeah, there's a lot to talk about with this promo, so let's just dive right into it. I don't think I'll get copyrighted for it, so I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Two friends from two different worlds make one decision that will change their lives forever. Star. Stop! So yeah, pretty intense. Now I think to start out with, I'm going to talk about all of the new clips that we see first, and then I'm going to go ahead and talk about like what I think is going to happen. So first we see Star and Marco holding hands, they're both at the tavern at the end of the multiverse, and that's all we really see from that little clip there. And then we move on and we can see Star and Marco holding hands again, but we can see that they're walking into the portal to the magic dimension. But that's not all. We can see Marco has his wand, and oh my gosh. Okay, let me just tell you, when Deep Dive first aired, that was like one of my favorite episodes. That was the episode that basically started out this YouTube channel. It was the second video that I made talking about the episode Deep Dive, and that was just one of my favorite episodes. So that was really cool. I love that episode. I love that Marco got a wand. So it's awesome that we get to see him again using that wand. So they go into this portal, and then it cuts to just this very wide, very short and I'm talking about the video, not length, but the actual video height. It's very short and it's very elongated. Now, I can't help but think that this is from an actual perspective of an eye. It's just they had to zoom in a little bit and crop it to make it look square. So I don't exactly know, but I have a feeling that this is going to be Star looking over at Marco. That's why she's crying. And again, later on, we can see that Marco gets hurt. So I think that this is Star looking at Marco and then he's, his eyes close. And I believe that that arm there is Moon. So again, we'll come back to all the clips in a little bit, but that's what I think from that. But then the next clip, we can see a dark unicorn going into what looks like magic. Now, if we cut the frame really soon, we can see that that person who's shooting the magic is actually Marco. So we can see that the unicorn is going charging at Marco as he's blasting magic. Now, the next clip we see is Mina jumping in to the fountain of magic, what looks to be at the sanctuary. Now, here's the thing. If you pause the clip, like right when it starts, you can see that there's some magic that looks to be on the camera which implies that there was a splash before Mina, you know, actually jumped in. So either she's following somebody, I think it's going to be Moon, but I'm not sure. So either that or the clip is played in reverse, but I don't think Mina is going to be coming out of the portal in a cannonball pose that looks like something that you do when you're jumping in. So I think that she's following Moon or maybe she's following like another Solarian warrior. I don't exactly know, but it does look like that somebody jumped in right before her. Now the next clip we see is Star running out through some cornfields with some rats, maybe hinting at Ludo, no, probably not. But we can see the Star is just running out and that's all we really see from that. Now the next clip is Star and Marco again. Now the first clip we saw with them in front of a portal, Star was in her butterfly form, but this time she's not. And we can see, we can tell for sure that they are in the magic dimension because we can see a crystal to the left, while before we couldn't tell where they were. So we can assume that this is right after they go through the portal and end up in the magic dimension. And Marco is still holding his wand. So next we see Meteora and she's dipping down. And then we can see some swirls in the sky. Now we can assume that that's Meteora, but again, we don't know for sure. It could really be any magic user, but I think it would be cool if that was Meteora. But then it cuts to the dark unicorn that we've seen before. 
and we can see that Tom is what looks to be trying to protect Marco from this unicorn so that's cool to see Tom is still here like I said in one of my analysis videos Tom being here is going to be important but the next clip is Marco being thrown back and he drops his wand and then it cuts to him having this wound what looks to be a horn piercing through his body and there's magic stuff around the wound so that's not good and then the next clip is Star banging her hands in the magic like she's sad and then it cuts to Tom with some glowing eyes and then it cuts to two pair of glowing eyes with what looks to be cheek marks. And whoa, if we use our magic book of spells, we can tell exactly who these people are. Now the infinity cheek marks are Arena the Riddled, and the diamond looking cheek marks are actually Festivia the Fun. Now we don't know what they're doing here, if they are in a magic dimension, or if this is kind of like a reincarnation of them we don't exactly know but they are here regardless so uh, we don't exactly know it's foggy so we can't tell if this is in the magic dimension in the overworld etc but it is somewhere where we see them again and the final clip is star looking at somebody I'm assuming it is moon and then letting go and falling into the magic sanctuary well and then Moon jumps kind of not in, but she's like, no, Star, and then it cuts off. And while that's going on, we can hear Marco saying, bye, Star, and that's just sad. That's like, wow, no, don't say goodbye to Star. So now we've talked about all of the clips in this thing just at a very basic, like, understanding of what they are. But I want to talk about kind of what's going on here as far as my guess as like what Star's doing and where she's going and what her plan is. Now the announcer at the very beginning is saying that two friends make a decision that will change their lives forever. Now I think that Star and Marco are under the understanding that hey, they might not ever see each other again after they destroy the magic, but it's for the greater good so they're willing to take that risk. Now we can assume that they would have talked about like, well, why not just send Star in, destroy the magic, and then go out? Why does Marco have to join her, and why does Marco need the wand? Well, I think that they're going to remember that Tom is still stuck in the magic dimension. So they're going to be like, alright, let's go save Tom, and then we'll go ahead and like destroy the whole magic realm or whatever. So I think that they first go in and look for Tom. Now I think Marco finds Tom or Marco finds this dark unicorn and then Tom comes out and saves him. But then I think something bad happens to Tom and then we cut to that clip where Tom is you know, corrupted being taken over by the dark magic because we can see that he is most likely riding on top of the dark unicorn. Now I believe the glowing eyes indicates that you're taken over by the dark magic like the dark magic just took over you so I think that that's what that means and I don't know, maybe Tom wasn't protecting Marco in this, but I do think that he was, but then he gets taken over by the dark magic. And then after Tom gets taken over by the dark magic, then Marco's just kind of on his own, and then the dark unicorn charges at him, and Marco tries defending himself with the wand, but again, it doesn't exactly work, and the unicorn just kind of like pierces through his stomach with the dark magic. And we can assume that Marco is going to turn evil because I believe that the dark magic just has to enter your system and then it you know, comes over you because you can't get like affected by the dark magic if you're just standing in it. But if you drink it, for example, then you turn dark. So then we can assume that Star is crying because Marco is being taken over by this dark magic. In that clip where someone's hand, presumably Moon, is being put on Star's shoulder and she's looking. Again, something about this clip makes me think that this is somebody looking at Star and we can assume that it's Marco looking at Star and I'm gonna go as far as to guess that this is when Marco says goodbye Star and he closes his eyes. Now if we are assuming that Moon goes in after Star and this is Moon who has her hand on Star, we can assume that Moon either goes in to the magic dimension and then Mina follows her or again Mina's following like another Solarian warrior. I'm not exactly sure. I'm still stuck on that part where there's still some magic like a splash coming out before Mina jumps in. So something's going on there. I don't know what but something. But I think that Star eventually succeeds in destroying the magic. And that brings us to the very last clip. 
when we can see that 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 corrupted magic that we saw with toffee that's i think what happens to magic when it it's not magic anymore. It loses its magic ability, but it is still like a liquid. The magic dimension still exists when there is no magic. It's just all of the magic is just kind of like water or whatever the scoop is. But I think that Moon either helps start out of the sanctuary or something. I don't know. I think that it's going to be Star's decision to fall back into the magic dimension to look for Marco because, again, Star is crying probably because she just lost Marco, but she's not going to give up on him yet. So I think she's going to fall back into the magic dimension to go look for Marco and Tom, or maybe just Marco, mostly for Marco. I don't know if she's still thinking about Tom. I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, we can assume that they're going to run into Mina in the magic dimension, but then Mina's going to get defeated or something. I don't know. These have just been my thoughts on what I think is going to happen based off of this promo. Now, you can agree or disagree with me. It's up for your own interpretation, but that's how I interpreted the promo. So if you did enjoy this promo analysis video, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. Again, I will update you on all of the news related to Star, whether that's through a video or a community post. So, you know, subscribe to stay notified. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye. Hi, Star.